Hey folks, Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. I am here in San Diego right now visiting relatives for the Thanksgiving holiday here at a park and they have a little nature preserve here at the park. I'm wandering the paths looking at the signs for the different plants and flowers and I stopped a minute ago to read a sign talking about the native plants here in the San Diego area and how of course it is warm here, it is dry here, if they only get a few more inches of rain than the nearby deserts and they're talking about how the plants are adapted to this dry uh, this dry climate, how they're very, very different from the ones that live in Seattle. And this had me thinking about how the, the fact that context is key. You know, you'll be browsing the internet, looking and you'll seeing, and this person says, you know, for their disease, their digestive issue, their autoimmune condition, or, or where they are in life, they're doing a particular regimen, whether that's diet or sleep or exercise or taking certain supplements. And it's normal and natural to go, well, that worked for that person. Therefore, I'm going to do the same thing without taking into uh, mind the context of the situation. You know, is this person an athlete? Are they young? Are they old? Do they have kids or are they single? You know, what's going on in their life? Where do they live? You know, in the same way that if we take the Seattle plants and we try to bring them here, it's really hard. You know, we have to water them a lot and protect them from the, the sun and the heat in the same way. We can't grow these plants that thrive here in Seattle without a lot of work. And we find that is a lot of the same thing for us. You know, whether it's something that used to work for us, one common issue that we see all the time are people having kids. And of course, if you've ever had kids, you know that life changes dramatically. The expectations, the responsibilities, the time pressures all change dramatically for people when they have kids. And the same routines, habits that used to work for people, leaving them feeling great and doing really well, no longer work for the vast majority of people. So this is, again, where context matters so much. What works for someone else may not be the right fit for you, whether that's diet or exercise or supplements or medications or, or any one of these things may not be the right fit for you. And this is one of the big sources of frustration we find for people is trying to either, one, follow a one-size-fits-all recommendation. Let me tell you, I've been doing this for over a decade now, and I can tell you there are no one-size-fits-all solutions that are going to work right for everyone. Everyone, You know, even if it's a diet or a regimen or a plan that works well for the vast majority of people, it is not going to work right for everyone. And so that's why it's important to recognize that it needs to be individualized and it needs to be in context for what's going on for you. All right, so mistake number one is thinking that a one-size-fits-all routine is going to work for everyone. Now, it's not a bad place to start are things that have worked consistently well for a lot of people. And that's where we start as well are the things that we've seen over and over and over again work for people. But recognizing that just because it worked for a lot of people, unfortunately, does not guarantee it works for you. So this is why it's critically important to pay attention to your body, your situation, what's going on for you and works for you. The second is understanding that just because something worked for someone else doesn't guarantee that it's going to work for you. Again, it's kind of similar to the second one in that, you know, this may have worked for someone, but we have to stop and say, is the context similar? Again, if this is a young, athletic person with no other responsibilities, no kids, uh, you know, no like big out or job or huge stresses or dealing with mortgages or with the same medical issues, the same digestive or autoimmune issues that you have going on, it doesn't mean that their regimen is, is going to work for you. The third piece here, let's throw in one more, is simply that just because it worked in the past doesn't always guarantee it'll work in the future. And that's a story we've seen many times as well. Again, when the situation was different, this worked really well for a person, but life has changed and the thing that used to work don't necessarily work anymore. So this all comes back to why context is king, why it's so important to understand the particulars of a person's situation. This is why the best care is always going to be that personalized one-on-one -on -one care where a healthcare practitioner can really sit down with you 
Understand the specifics of your situation, what's going on and what the context is and what you need in order to get better and why, you know, we don't always get it right on the first time, whether it's, again, working with a health professional or working on it yourself. It's understanding that first, uh, the first effort is just trying to get in the right ballpark and then we try to individualize it from there. So just remember, context is king. What works for another person may not be right for you if the context is very different. Having said that, have you checked out my best-selling book, The Clear Path to Health. Now, this is not individualized care, but this is getting you in the right ballpark. It's talking about the principles, not the tactics like take two of these or two of those or this brand of supplement or this particular diet, which all can vary from person to person, but it's saying what is common among all human beings? What are the things that bring us health or that encourage disease? By understanding those, we can get in the right ballpark. It stops us wasting time and money an effort. You know, one of the biggest things that we see people coming to us is just a sense of confusion and overwhelm. Again, there's so much information out there. How do I even know? How, how do I know that I'm just totally wasting my time? Well, the first is to understand the principles behind health and disease. And that gets us in the right ballpark. And then we can work to individualize and contextualize it from there. All you need to do to get the book is go to aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. That's aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book book and you can get your own copy there. You can understand the principles of health and disease, which puts you in the right ballpark. And then you can look to further individualize and understand how to adapt it to what's going on for you. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's beautiful and sunny here. Just enjoying the day seeing the very, very different plants and animals that live here and understanding that there is no magic one-size-fits-all recipe for health. All right, folks, until next time, take care.